Louisiana Beer Reviews, Bud Light Golden Wheat. Bud Light Golden Wheat was introduced in 2009. It's 4.1% alcohol. It is made with wheat malt, coriander, and orange peel, or they say citrus peel. They don't really say orange peel on the website. But some kind of citrus peels. This beer gets it gets a fine rating on the beer and me, a C on Beer Advocate. The Bros gave it a C plus. And it gets a nine out of a hundred on rape beer. So not very good on rape beer. I've never had it. But I'm curious to try it, so let's see what this beer is like. Slippery. Okay. Don't see any smoke. A little bit, yeah. All right. Has a thick kind of a uh, cream color head, really, and a little bit of haze. But I say it's mostly clear, um, golden appearance with some bubbles streaming up. Sort of a ordinary looking wheat beer. Not bad. It just looks like a wheat beer. Let's swirl this last little bit around, see if we get some... Oh yeah, we, we're going to get a lot of stuff in here. There's so much sediment. It's not totally filtered. So let's see if you can notice this. Did you see that head build up like that? So this is a Hefeweizen. It's a lot of yeast. A lot of sediment. And you'll notice how much the glass clouded up. It's very cloudy now and there's all kind of yeast chunks floating around in the glass. So this is a good looking beer. Now let's give it the smell test. Not much of an aroma is very mild. <clears throat> Maybe a little bit of banana and bread, but mostly not any aroma. Let's dig in and get this the taste. Not any banana, really. Just uh, wheat bread, maybe a touch of citrus, lots of water, clean water. Possibly a slight bit of hot bitterness, just a touch of bitterness. But you're mostly just getting your bread flavor, and it's very light. It's very light, which makes sense since it is a Bud Light wheat beer. No born on date. Strange. Seem to be getting away from the born on date. They had everything with a born on date, then pretty good amount of things with a born on date. Now. Most of their stuff doesn't have it anymore. Uh, 118 calories, so it's not super light. It's on the it's light-ish. How would I rate this? Um, it's pretty good, I guess. It's okay. It's 
inferior to other wheat beers I've had, like a Paul Honor, Hefeweizen for sure. Looks nice though, it's a nice look. If you've never tried any kind of wheat beers and you're just a Bud Light drinker, I recommend giving it a try, it's something different. Overall, I'll give it a C plus. It's average plus. It's high average. That's about all I can say. It's not something I would buy again. On the other hand, if somebody offered it to me, I'd take it. It's a little bit of um, I don't know if that's bitter. It's um, like a sourness. Yeah. Not bad, just sour. Might come from the citrus peel, I don't know. Anyway, it's a high average, and I'm going to end this review by saying y'all come on down to Louisiana and go to an LSU football game.